What's up guys, Freeman Dushan here, welcome to new video. Today we have some MLCCs to process for a precious metal, okay? Uh, I have already some old videos about MLCCs, but you ask to I make a new one, so I separate some amount of MLCCs and uh, today is the day to process some MLC MLCCs, okay? So, for the first, what I do here, I got a 400 gram MLCCs, around 400 gram. But I already, with the new DMU magnet, it's too strong, no, but uh, I already separate. You see, on this pile, we have non-magnetic, see that? Just a couple of, actually, slightly magnetic, but mostly it's not magnetic, see that? But on this bigger pile, it's a magnetic, and uh, you see that? It's very, very magnetic. So probably this contains some silver and mostly it's nickel. Uh, it's pretty shame because I have a pretty big one there. You see that? Pretty big one MLTC is, but unfortunately is magnetic. But this little pile there, it's actually non-magnetic. So I will do that separately. Uh, I don't know actually why people separate magnetic from non-magnetic, but uh, in the acid, when you leave to everything be dissolved, uh, it's not a problem. But uh, if you maybe left some metal behind, then a magnetic make problem with the non-magnetic because magnetic metal always uh, cement metal very fast from solution okay so the best way is uh, on beginning you just separate magnetic from non-magnetic and uh, do that separately okay so right now this pile here this big pile here is a magnetic come on and this pile here it's non-magnetic okay uh, why I use neodymium magnet because it's very strong and if this stuff is non magnetic This is basically that okay, so right now I will put that in the two beakers This non magnetic I will add in the small beaker I will add this pile in the bigger beaker and uh, I will add some hydrochloric acid because uh, this stuff is removed from the board and I need to remove uh, tin leftovers uh, because we want we don't want the tin in the our solution uh, right now I will add both pile in the two beaker add the hydrochloric acid and and just leave it on the heat for a couple of hours to remove all the tin okay let's start okay guys so right now I will add some hydrochloric acid First in non-magnetic, I think that 100 milliliter debris just enough, maybe too much. And here this is bigger amount, so I add 200 milliliter. And I will add that to beaker on the heat and leave that for a couple of hours, okay? Hey guys, okay, I wash that MLCC uh, after I soak them in the hot HCl to remove tin and now after I clean that with the water a couple of times to remove all the HCl. Now I will show you more one difference between uh, magnetic and non-magnetic MLCCs. You see, this, magne this is magnetic MLCCs which is a soak in the HCl and this is non-magnetic and if you see that this non-magnetic it's a everyone every single one has 
uh, yellow gray color and this this one we have different colors shade of colors and uh, it's mostly it's dark ones see that it's not not same like this one so you see that this is non-magnetic and this is magnetic difference is visible okay so right now I will add nitric acid in the bowl of this beaker okay I am outside so sorry about uh, sound of wind on the back uh, so more one comparison uh, between magnetic and non-magnetic MLTCs after first reaction uh, I add this beaker on the slowly heat and uh, in this beaker here bigger one we have magnetic pins you see solution has uh, blue greenish color okay and in this beaker here we have our non-magnetic MLCTs so you see the color is a uh, yellow gray so this definitely contains some palladium and this contain a lot of nickel probably both solution contain silver but in this we don't have palladium or maybe just a trace of palladium but mostly nickel and silver I hope and here we definitely have some palladium and uh, I hope some silver okay so this magnetic MLCTs non-magnetic MLCTs see that more one difference okay guys so after reaction is finished I leave that for a couple of days and after three four days I don't remember right now this is our non-magnetic solution you see so settle down and uh, this is our non-magnetic solution and this is magnetic solution so you see a green color and you see a gray color so this is the difference palladium nickel Okay, so right now I will filter both solution and I will extract all the other material, okay? Hey guys, so in this jar I got my uh, solution from uh, non-magnetic. Right now I will add this aqua regia from the second time. Why? Because aqua regia contain this solution is uh, pure nitric acid and aqua regia contain mix nitric and uh, HCl. Okay, in this little beaker I got my first solution, little diluted. Uh, this is nitric acid, 
from uh, non-magnetic MLTTs. Uh, here in this jar I got Aqua Regia from the second time. Okay, so right now I will add the Bose solution is filtered very good. I will add this Aqua Regia to this nitric acid. Why? Because hydrochloric acid from Aqua Regia will drop silver and I will put together both solution for a palladium recovery okay so let's now recover some silver a lot of silver in this MLTTs see that pretty pretty big amount of silver there Well, surprise, surprise, pretty, pretty big amount of silver. So right now I will filter that to remove that silver chloride, of course melt that. And here the solution, I will add it to a slowly heat for uh, evaporation, okay? We we'll call that silver chloride. Yeah, look very good. Hey guys, okay, in this jar right now I have first nitric acid, this is from magnetic MLTTs and here in this jar I got Aqua Regia uh, from the second batch, so right now like in the same uh, solution I will add Aqua Regia to nitric acid to drop some silver, it's a little cloudy, my filter through some uh, little slug but not too much no problem there so right now I will drop silver with this Aqua Regia because Aqua Regia contain hydrochloric acid which is drop silver from this nitric acid okay see that very nice Sorry about that. Okay, for now I will leave that silver chloride to settle down. Okay. Okay, and in this jar, this is my second solution. See that? This is our silver chloride on the bottom. Right now I will decan that, filter that and uh, put that on evaporation, okay? Okay guys, I vapor one part of the solution and you see I have some crystal inside, I don't know from one from what that crystal are so right now I will decant the solution in this beaker and I will continue with a vaporize step and just I add little by little hydrochloric acid okay <laughs> 